and welcome to Z Study Hub, your home for scholarships, university applications, studying abroad, working abroad, and generally giving an opportunity to get the information you need if you want to migrate to the UK or other countries to study or work. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some useful information about the Skill Up Visa. You may have heard about this new visa that the UK government has introduced and it is phenomenal. It's a really good visa that allows you to travel to the UK and work in the UK without necessarily being tied to any company in particular. But then again, you have a chance to extend the visa as you go. And this is an incredible opportunity for you to come in here or come to the UK and work with your visa being sponsored but subsequently you don't necessarily have to be tied to that company but you can get your visa extended or get an extensive visa in order to work anywhere or with other companies that you want so today i'm going to be sharing all of that with you but before then let me remind you that kindly make sure you hit the subscribe button because on this channel i share a lot of useful information on studying abroad working abroad and generally information that would make your experience in the uk or coming to the uk easier and fruitful without wasting much time i'm going to be telling you all about the skill up visa and i'll explain it to you but most importantly i'll be sharing with you names of companies that are eligible or that can sponsor you under this visa and tips on how to find jobs on this visa so make sure you watch it till the end because i'll be sharing very useful information and if you know a friend a family member a co-worker a colleague who would find this information useful please and please share it with them so that we can all thrive and be successful together what is a scale up visa this is a new visa that has been introduced and from the 22nd of august 2022 companies have been given an opportunity to employ people from all over the world and these are uk companies so basically the government is trying to also enable um, private companies or smaller companies to be able to bring in a talent pool from all over the world who would help to propel the growth of their companies so it's basically just to also help businesses who have huge potential for growth to resource people from the world or from all over the world who would be able to come and contribute to the success of their companies so that is more like an initiative that seeks to empower small businesses more of so there are various roles that these companies put out there and can employ for so from programmers to architects technicians to financial analysts to engineers scientists all of these roles are roles that they recruit for for people to come and work in the uk so this is an exciting opportunity for you what you should know about this visa is that it gives you an opportunity to get um, a visa that gives you a leave to remain for up to two years so even for up to that two years that they give you the visa you are tied to that company for about six months so whichever company gives you the certificate of sponsorship you can work with them for up to six months and after that if you want to move on to a different company you can do so which is why this is more exciting because you can then explore other opportunities as you go you can find other jobs that you may be interested in then you can take it from there for instance if subsequently you want to apply for any kind of um, opportunities you can do that so this visa is exciting uh, so that is basically all you need to know for now about the general information about the visa this covers companies in England um, Northern Ireland uh, Scotland and Wales and remember these are all under these are all under the United Kingdom the companies in all of these parts of the UK can sponsor and there are thousands of companies that are eligible to sponsor so you have a lot of opportunity this is a huge opportunity for you to explore don't take it for granted now I'm going to be sharing with you the companies that or some of the companies that can sponsor you and also show you how to find it yourself and most importantly how to apply for the job if you are interested in seeing my tips on how to make sure that your application stands out you can just send it right the word apply in the comment section and then i'll make a video on how to make sure that your job application stands out in order to help you get invited for an interview to be able to get a job let's check out some of the companies that can sponsor you i'm going to put the link to this website in the description so you check it out because the companies are many and i can't possibly go through all of them but i'll put the link in the description for you to check it out so 
you would see England. If you click on it, you find companies in England that are, are under the scale of Visa or can sponsor you under that. This is Scotland, this is for Wales, and this is for Northern Ireland. Now let's check out England for today. So I'm gonna click on the England tab. So these are the companies in England that can sponsor you under the scale up visa as you can see they are in alphabetical order and they are quite a lot this also just reminds you that there's a large pool for you to explore if you want to find um, a job in the uk so i'm basically going to search for um to show you how to search for a, a job under any of these companies so i'm um, just going to pick one randomly i don't have any in mind for now so let's just search for i don't know i like this name brand addition so this is a company called brand addition so i'm just going to look it up you'd see their website if you don't do this you can what you can also do is to just click is just copy the name of the company and search in google that's basically what i've done but in a different way what you would do is that when you click on the company's website you can read about it and see what they do so they are basically into uh, branding and it looks like a lovely place to work if you're in in a place in a sector like me but you can see that they do so many things uh, technology communications and entertainment charity engineering so we are here to find a job let's search for careers let's click on careers and when you click on careers it basically just shows you the number of uh, the jobs so you can read open positions let's see special order logistic coordinator senior inventory buyer senior staff accountant senior accountant so all of these are roles that are uh, um there for you but as you can see this is a huge company so some of the the rules are for specific places so the credit controller role is in manchester the group sustainability role is in manchester retail sales managers in dublin and you can see my merchandiser is in shanghai and there's a buyer there's a role for buyer in london so let's just click on one of those in um manchester i guess group sustainability manager and it was posted on the 7th of july so what you do is just to read about the role and see if it's something you find interested in the key responsibilities what you would need and all of these and they tell you how to apply simply include your cv cover letter and details of your current salary and benefits package so you just apply for this like any other job and there are lots of them to choose from if you are not interested in this role you can always search out for different roles for different companies like the way i just did with this one so if you click on apply it just takes you to a place where you read more about it and apply like i said if you're interested in me sharing tips with you on how to make your application stand out just type apply in the comment section and i will do that um, if i get a lot of feedback and interest in that so basically so you do to find a job and if you find the job they would definitely um if you eventually get fun get an interview and then you secure the job they will sponsor your visa the last thing i want to add is that there are going rates for each of these jobs so basically you need to make a certain amount or an, a certain amount yearly that's like an annual income to be eligible for sponsorship on this visa it's pretty much the same for most of the work visas so what you have to do is to check that out i'm putting the link to that in the description so generally depending on the role so let me just show you an example this is on gov.uk that's the uk government's website and so when you check here you'd see going rates for eligible occupation and you just have to look through and see how much they are um they're looking at and so these are the going rates and you should make um at least this amount annually to be considered uh so yeah so just check that out so the last thing i want to tell you is that it's not as difficult as you would imagine it is just uh, about you taking initiative and doing this in order to get the job and i really hope that you apply let me know if you have any questions in the comments comment section and i'm putting all the links in the description please make sure you subscribe and help me grow this channel and most importantly share it with anyone that you think would need it i wish you the very best leave any comments in the comment section lots of love bye bye